everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name's Kim and today I'm bringing you the August Fairloot YA unboxing so without further ado let's crack her open see what we have this month okay and we have oh voila oh okay we have the spoiler card on the top there beautiful artwork flip her over so you can pause it if you want to see all the fandoms i'll pop that in front of me just in case i need it which i probably will and we'll remove some of the pecking so first item we have on the top is mm, velvety shiny Hard. What is this? A jewelry box. Okay. Mm -hmm. Little pouches. You can slip your rings in there. Okay. Don't know if I'd use it. I could use it when I go on my cruise next year, maybe. Mm. Okay. Uh, next item, oh, we have a fabric item, and it's a tote bag. Okay, don't tend to use tote bags too often, but this one's actually quite big. And we have all sorts of books on there. Oh, some quite good ones as well, like Caravel, J5 Gold, Shat Me series. Oh, some quite good books on there. I don't know how much use I'll get out of that one, but okay. Next we have so this little envelope here, which says Romeo and Juliet list pad. Okay. Okay, that slips out of there like that. And we have oh that's pretty. Okay. These violent delights have violent ends. Okay, I do write a lot of lists, but I tend to write them on my phone. Okay. We have another little envelope that has a gilded pin written on it. Get that one out and oh, I'm guessing it's inspired by gilded. By Marissa Mayer. That's pretty. I'll go very well with our pin flag that we got last time. Pretty. Okay, we will move the book to one side for a moment. Oh, okay, we have the next foil mythology bookmarks. They're cool. Shiny. I like that one, that's cool. Very Egyptian. We have collectible five and collectible six which are Annecy and a party. Probably pronouncing those wrong, but they're pretty. Nice. We also have the tarot cards. That is Justice and the Wheel of Fortune. What are they inspired by? Joan and Nick and Aaron. Characters from Only a Monster by Vanessa Lim. Okay. Okay, let's open up the book baggie and find ooh, these bits. So we have the oops, fairy scoop for the month. There we go. We have author interview there, upcoming books for September. I haven't actually heard of any of those, so we'll check those out. And on the back there we have next month's theme, which is Farewell My Love. Okay. In this box, you'll expect items inspired by The Fog in the Air, Six Crimson Cranes, Feature Book a Month, and there'll be a fandom neutral item. We are thrilled to reveal that this book's wing ah, there's a blanket. Oh, I do love a fairy loot blanket. And the final collectible trinket dish. Oh, the final one. Uh, 
featured book of the month is a romantic fantasy set in a gothic infused world of wealth, desire and betrayal. Mm, intrigued. Gonna wait for that one. Okay. Mm, we also have ooh, pretty artwork there with a letter from the author on the back. Okay. We have the bookmark of the month which is inspired by the spoiler card and then we get on to the book let's have a look it goes that way get the corners out there so i can pull it off okay the book of this month is ooh, pretty it is a violet made of thorns Okay, that's a pretty cover. Loving the colours. Spine. And the back there. We have solid spray top and different spray bottom. Mm -hmm. There's a little bookmark in there as well. Ombre. Okay, it's pretty simple. Open up and oh, we have, if I can get it out, we have, a very smudged unfortunately, signed book plate. We have, oh, pretty end papers. Is that the same? Oh, no, that's not the same. Hello. Okay. Nothing under the dust jacket, but we do have a hardcover. It does wrap all the way around. That's beautiful. That's not bad. Let's pop it back into the dust jacket. There's a little water pitcher there. And let's, okay, Ooh. Ooh. we have a map, okay, let's tell you what this little one's about. Violet is a prophet and a liar, influencing the royal court with her cleverly phrased, and not always true, divinations. Honesty is for suckers, like the Oh, so not charming Prince Cyrus, who plans to strip Violet of her official role once he's crowned at the end of the summer, unless Violet does something about it. But when the king asks her to falsify prophecy Cyrus's love story for an upcoming ball, Violet awakens a deadly curse, one that will end in either damnation or salvation for the kingdom, all depending on the prince's choice of future bride. Violet faces her own choice, seize control of her destiny, no matter the cost, or give in to the ill-fated attraction growing between her and Cyrus. Violet's wits may protect her in the cut-throat court, but they can't change her fate. And as the boundary between hatred and love grows even thinner with the prince, Violet must untangle a wicked web of deceit to save herself and the kingdom or doom them all. Nice. Okay. Not bad. Let's definitely give it a go. Show you about the smudged signature there. What's my favourite item out of this box? Hmm. I don't think I'll get much use out of many of the items in this box, I can't lie. So I'll probably go with the foil bookmarks as being my favourite this month. Anyway, let me know what your favourite items in this box were. Let me know if you are reading or have read Violet Made of Thorns. Let me know what you thought. Pop down into my description box where I will link Fairy Loot for you if you wish to check it out. I will also, in my description box, list all of my socials. Come follow me. 
uh, like and subscribe, do what you got to, and I will see you next time. Doodles.